Good afternoon. This is Pamela, and you're listening to Watchmen on the Pod. We're going to continue in our Bible reading today in the book of Malachi. We are in chapter 2, and I do not want you to forget that we will be reading from five different versions of the Bible, or not versions, I guess, translations, is that what they were called? Anyway, we'll be reading from five different Bibles. <laughs> the first one will be the KJV. The second will be the Apostolic Bible Polyglot. The third will be TS 2009 or the Scriptures 2009. The fourth will be the World English Bible. And the fifth will be the Complete Messianic Aleph Tov Scriptures. Malachi chapter 2, KJV. It is written. And now, O ye priests, this commandment is for you. If ye will not hear, and if ye will not lay it to heart to give glory unto my name, saith the Lord of hosts, I will even send a curse upon you. I will curse your blessings. Yea, I have cursed them already, because ye do not lay it to heart. Behold, I will corrupt your seed, and spread dung upon your faces, even the dung of your solemn feast, and one shall take you away with it. And ye shall know that I have sent this commandment unto you, that my covenant might be with Levi, saith the Lord of hosts. My covenant was with him of life and peace, and I gave them to him for the fear with wherewith he feared me and was afraid before my name the law of truth was in his mouth and iniquity was not found in his lips he walked with me in peace and equity and did turn away many from iniquity from the priest's lips should keep knowledge and they should seek the law at his mouth for he is the messenger of the lord of hosts but ye are departed out of the way ye have caused many to stumble at the law ye have corrupted the covenant of levi saith the Lord of hosts. Therefore have I also made you contemptible and base before all the people, according as ye have not kept my ways, but have been partial in the law. Have we not all one Father? Have not one God created us? Why do we deal treacherously every man against his brother by profaning the covenant of our fathers? Judah hath dealt treacherously, and an abomination is committed in Israel and in Jerusalem. For Judah hath profaned the holiness of the Lord, which he loved, and hath married the daughter of a strange God. The Lord will cut off the man that doeth this, the master and the scholar out of the tabernacles of Jacob, and him that offereth an offering unto the Lord of hosts. And this have ye done again, covering the altar of the Lord with tears, with weeping, and with crying out, insomuch that he regardeth not the offering any more, or receiveth it with good will at your hand. Yet ye say, Wherefore? Because the Lord hath been witness between thee and the wife of thy youth, against whom thou hast dealt treacherously. Yet is she thy companion and the wife of thy covenant. And did not he make one? Yet had he the residue of the Spirit, and wherefore one? that he might seek a godly seed. Therefore take heed to your spirit, and let none deal treacherously against the wife of his youth. For the Lord of God, for the Lord God of Israel saith that he hateth putting away. For one covereth violence with his garment, saith the Lord of hosts. Therefore take heed to your spirit, that ye deal not treacherously. Ye have wearied the Lord with your words, yet ye say, Wearied have we wearied him. When ye say, Every one that doeth evil is good in the sight of the Lord, and he delighteth in them. Or, where is the God of judgment? Whoa. God hates divorce, brothers and sisters. That's pretty clear right there. Apostolic Bible Polyglot, Malachi chapter 2. It is written, And now this commandment is to you, O priest. If you should not hearken, if you should not put it into your heart give to give glory <clears throat> to my name, says the Lord Almighty, then I will send upon you the curse and will accurse your blessing. Even I will curse it, and it will not be among you, for you put it not to your heart. Behold, I separate to you the shoulder, and I will disperse dung of the large intestine upon your faces. Whoa! Whoa, dung of the large intestine of your holiday feast, and I will take you away at the same time. And you shall realize that I sent out to you this commandment to be my covenant with the Levites, says the Lord Almighty. 
My covenant was with him, the one of life and of peace, and I gave to him fear to fear me, and from the presence of my name to put him in readiness. The law of truth was in his mouth, and injustice was not found in his lips. In peace he straightened out to go with me, and many he turned from iniquity. For lips of priests shall guard knowledge, and they shall seek the law from his mouth. For he is a messenger of the Lord Almighty. But you turned aside from the way, and you weakened many in following the law. You corrupted the covenant of Levi, says the Lord Almighty. And I have given you over as ones being treated with contempt, and ones being disregarded among all the nations, because you guarded not my ways, but you took persons in the law. Mm -mm -mm. Is there not one father of all you? Did not one God create you? For what reason did you abandon each brother to profane the covenant of your fathers? Judah abandoned and an abomination took place in Israel and in Jerusalem. For Judah profaned the holy things of God in which he loved and applied unto alien gods. The Lord will utterly destroy the man doing these things until whenever he should be humbled from out of the tents of Jacob and from out of the ones bringing a sacrifice to the Lord Almighty. And these things which I detested, you did. You covered the altar of the Lord in tears, in weeping and moaning because of troubles, yet thinking it worthy to look upon your sacrifice or to take as acceptable from out of your hands. And you said, for what reason? And that the Lord test, test, um, testified between you and between the wife of your youth, whom you bent. No, that's just wrong. And you said, for what reason? In that the Lord testified between you and between the wife of your youth, whom you abandon, and she is your partner and the wife of your covenant. But he, no, but did he not do good? even a vestige of his spirit. And you said, what other than a seed does God seek? But guard in your heart, your spirit, and the wife of your youth. Do not abandon. But if my, if by detesting you should send her forth, says the Lord God of Israel, then impiety shall cover over your thoughts, says the Lord God Almighty. And keep guard in your spirit, and in no way should you abandon them. O oh, ones provoking the Lord with your words. And you said, we provoked him in what? In your saying, everyone doing wicked is good before the Lord, and in them he thinks well of, and where is the God of righteousness? Wow, I'm telling you, sometimes the apostolic Bible <laughs> gets me tongue-tied. Forgive me. Okay, Malachi chapter 2. TS 2009 or the scriptures 2009, it is written. And now, O priest, this command is for you. If you do not hear and if you do not take it to heart to give esteem to my name, said Yahweh of hosts, I shall send a curse upon you. I shall curse your blessings. And indeed, I have cursed them because you do not take it to heart. See, I shall rebuke your seed and scatter dung before your faces, the dung of your festivals, and I shall be taken away with it, and you shall be taken away with it. And you shall know that I have sent this command to you as being my covenant with Levi, said Yahavah of host. My covenant with him was life and peace, and I gave them to him to fear, and he feared me and stood in awe of my name. The Torah of truth was in his mouth, and unrighteousness was not found on his lips. He walked with me in peace and straightness and turned many away from crookedness. And this one says, see Nehemiah chapter 9, verse 13, and it's says, and you came down on Mount Sinai and spoke with them from the heavens and gave them straight right rulings and Torah of truth, good laws and commands and Torah teaching traditionally render laws of truth of which we also read in Malachi 2 6, which we did did while it is rendered in Romans 2 20 as the truth of the law. Very good. All right. Verse 7, For the lips of a priest should guard knowledge, and they seek the Torah from his mouth, for he is the messenger of Yahavah of hosts. But you, you have turned from the way. You have caused many to stumble in the Torah. You have corrupted the covenant of Levi, said Yahavah of hosts. 
and I also I shall make you despised and low before all the people because you are not guarding my ways and you are showing partiality in the Torah. Have we not all one father? Did not one El create us? Why do we act treacherously against one another to profane the covenant of the fathers? Well, Judah has acted tre treacherously. An abomination has been done in Israel and in Jerusalem. For Judah has profaned what is set apart to Yahweh, which he had loved, and has married the daughter of a foreign mighty one. Let Yahweh cut off from the tents of Jacob, or Yaakov, the man who does this, stirring up or answering and bringing an offering to Yahavah of hosts. And this you have done a second time. You cover the slaughter place of Yahavah with tears, with weeping and crying, because he no longer regards the offering, nor receives it with pleasure from your hands. And you said, Why? Because Yahavah has been witness between you and the wife of your youth, against whom you have acted treacherously, though she is your companion and the wife of your covenant. And he did not and did he not make one? And he had the remnant of the spirit. And what is the one alone? He seeks the seed of Elohim. So you shall guard your spirit and let none act treacherously against the wife of his youth. For I hate divorce, said Yahavah Elohim of Israel, and the one who covers his garment with cruelty. And Yahavah hosts, so you shall guard your spirit and do not act treacherously. You have wearied Yahavah with your words, and you have said, In what way have we wearied him? In that you say, Everyone who does evil is good in the eyes of Yahavah, and he is delighting in them. Or where is the Elohim of right ruling? Wow. Road English Bible, Malachi chapter 2. It is written, Now, you priest, this commandment is for you. You will not listen, and if you will not take it to heart to give glory to my name, says Yahavah of armies, then I will send the curse on you. I will curse your blessings. Indeed, I have cursed them already, because you do not take it to heart. Behold, I will rebuke your offspring, and I will spread dung on your faces, even the dung of your feasts, and you will be taken away with it. You will know that I have sent this commandment to you, that my covenant may be with Levi, says Yahavah of armies. My covenant was with him of life and peace, and I gave them to him, that he might be reverent toward me, and he was reverent toward me, and stood in awe of my name. The law of truth was in his mouth, and unrighteousness was not found in his lips. He walked with me in peace and uprightness, turn many away from iniquity. For the priest's lips should be kept should keep knowledge, and they should seek the law at his mouth, for he is the messenger of Yahavah of armies. But you have turned away from the path, you have caused many to stumble in the law. Have you corrupted the com the co I'm sorry. You have corrupted the covenant of Levi, says Yahavah of armies. Therefore, I have also made you contemptible and wicked before all the people, according to the way you have not kept my ways, but have had respect of persons in the law. Don't we all have one father? Hasn't one God created us? Why do we deal treacherously every man against his brother, profaning the covenant of our fathers? Judah has dealt treacherously. An abomination is committed in Israel and Jerusalem, for Judah has profaned the whole Holiness of Yahavah, which he loves, and has married the daughter of a foreign god. Yahavah will cut off to the man who does this, him who wakes and him who answers out of the tents of Jacob, and him who offers an offering to Yahavah of armies. This again you do. You cover Yahavah's altar with tears, with weeping, and with sighing, because he doesn't regard the offering anymore, neither receives it with goodwill at your hand. Yet you say, why? Because Yahavah has been witness between you and the wife of your youth, against whom you have dealt treacherously, though she is your companion and the wife of your covenant. Did he not make you one, although he had the residue of the spirit? Why one? He sought godly offspring. Therefore take heed to your spirit, and let no one deal treacherously against the wife of his youth.
For I hate divorce, says Jehovah, the God of Israel, and him who covers his garment with violence, says Jehovah of armies. Therefore, take heed to your spirit that you don't deal treacherously. You have wearied Yahweh with your words, yet you say, how have we wearied him? And that you say, everyone who does evil is good in Yahweh's sight, a Yahweh's sight, and he delights in them. Or, where is God of justice? Wow, I don't even know what to say. I'm telling you what, I really enjoy reading these five different translations because it just opens up so much, but it's pretty frightening if you ask me. Pretty frightening. Now let me get to, uh, this is the complete Messianic Alatov scriptures. And chapter 2, it is written, And now, O priest, this commandment is for you. If you will not hear, and if you will not lay it to heart to give glory to my name, says Yahavah of hosts, I will even send upon you a curse, and I will curse your blessings. Indeed, I have cursed them already, because you do not lay it to heart. Behold, I will corrupt your seed and spread dung upon your faces, even the dung of your solemn feast, and one will take you away with it. And you will know that I have sent to you this commandment, that might be my covenant with Levi, says Yahavah of hosts. My covenant with him was one of life and peace. I gave them to him for the fear with which he feared me and was afraid before my name. The Torah of truth was in his mouth and iniquity was not found in his lips. He walked with me in peace and equity and turned away from iniquity. For the priest's lips should preserve knowledge and they should seek the Torah at his mouth. For he is the messenger of Yahavah of hosts. And you have turned aside out of the way. You have caused many to stumble in the Torah. You have corrupted the covenant of Levi, says Yahavah a host. Therefore, I have also made you contemptible and base before all the people, because you have not kept my ways, but have shown partiality in the Torah. Have we not all one father? Has not one Elohim created us? Why do we deal treacherously every man against his brother, profaning the covenant of our fathers? Judah has dealt treacherously, and abomination is committed in Israel and in Jerusalem, for Judah has profaned the sanctuary of Yahavah, which he loves, and has married the daughter of a foreign god. Yahavah will cut off the man that does this, how they him that is awake and him that is aware out of the tents of Jacob and him that offers an offering to Yahavah of hosts. And this again you do, you cover with tears, altar of Yahavah with weeping and with sighing, insomuch that he regards not the offering any more, neither receives it with goodwill at your hand. Yet you say, for what reason? Because Yahavah has been a witness between you and the wife of your youth, against whom you have dealt treacherously, though she is your companion and the wife of your covenant. And did he not make one, although he had the residue of the Spirit? And why one? He sought a godly offspring, a seed. Therefore take heed to your spirit, and let none deal treacherously toward the wife of his youth. For I hate putting away, says Yahavah, the Elohim of Israel, him that covers his garment with violence, says Yahavah of hosts. Therefore take heed to your spirit that you deal not treacherously. You have wearied Yahavah with your words, yet you say, in which have we worried him? In that you say, everyone that does evil is good in the sight of Yahavah, and he delights in them. Or where is Elohim of justice? Wow. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. It's better not to make a vow than make a vow and not keep it. And you'd make a vow when you uh, speak your wedding vows before the Lord God Almighty and before men. People don't realize, but your first marriage is the one that is called a covenant marriage. And if your spouse is still alive and you're remarried, you are living in adultery. Take it or leave it. it you know, it, it's it's your choice. That's the word of God. Anyway, I love you all so very much, brothers and sisters. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Your nose in the book. Go to the Lord. Ask him for wisdom. Ask him for discernment. Search the word. Know the word before it's too late. 
So embed the word of God upon the tablets of your hearts so you will not sin against God or be deceived. Till next time, I love you all so very much. Bye-bye.